Hello everybody. In today's video I wanted to show you how we can set up a progress bar in a user form in the Microsoft Excel VBA environment. So to get started I'm just going to give you a little quick demonstration on how this works. We have a user form right here. If we do show, show percent, that's going to be the illustration of the progress bar. So just once again. Alright, so let me show you how to get this set up if this is something you're interested in. So under show percent, First off, all we're doing is a repetition of going from 1 to 100. Call update percentage, and all I'm doing is doing the rep, the this variable right here, times 0 0.01. This is just to give me a percentage, because the percentage is going to be anywhere from, it's going to range anywhere from 0 0.01 to 1. Whereas like 0 0.05 would be 5%. and like 0.5 would be 50%. Just some examples. The timeout function is one that I just created just to give me a little bit of a, of a timeout kind of just to delay it so you can see the visual effect. But the update percentage this is going to be the part where you throw the percentage that you want to come up. But this code I'll have put onto our description that way you can see what we're doing. But let me kind of just give you a walkthrough as to what's happening here. So to get this started, I have a label and I have a frame. So I'm going to put those back on the form again, so I'm going to delete it. And so start off with a frame on your user form. Remove the caption. That way it's just an empty frame. And let's just keep note of the frame's width. The width is 180. So I'm going to throw a label in here. And the code that I have is set for label 1. Change the width to the exact width that we have as the frame, as 180. And it should, of course, be aligned to the left of the frame. So 180 as the width. Change the caption to 0 percent. Uh, I will change the color to white for the lettering because I'm going to change the background color of the label and of course change it to the color that you'd like but I'm going to use this gray right here and then I'm going to align the text towards the center and lastly I'm just going to increase the font size. I'm going to put it bold and at 9. So right here, this is the important part because this is what the code uses, is the width of the label as 180. So I'm going to double click the show percent, but I'm going to scroll down to where I have this procedure. So what you're going to want to do for your form is paste this code down to the very end of your user form. So let's just say we didn't have this, I'm going to take it out. If you're inside user form, you can double click anywhere on the form or on the control, but the key is you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, enter, and then just paste it right here. So, but the control width, my original width of my control was 156. Well, I'm actually going to change this value to now 180 because that's the width that we're going to be working with right now. And it's going to be what percentage times 180. All we're doing here is that we're looking at the initial width of the control. And we know that as being 100%, the maximum width that the control is going to get. So whenever you as a user send a send in a, send in a percentage to this procedure we're going to figure out what the new width is going to be by getting that percentage and multiplying it by 180 so essentially if you wanted to get 50 percent out of 180 that's what's happening here so if you were to throw in the value 0 0.5 as the percent 0 0.5 times 180 is going to give us half the value or 90. so we'll it will set the width to being 90 for your new control The output percentage is going to actually give you the value for your label. And all this is doing is getting the value that you throw in, throw in multi multiplying it by 100. Because if you're going to throw in the value 0.5, which again we talked about is being 50%, 0.5 times 100 is not going to give you the number 50. It's going to give you a whole number and it's going to throw that onto the, onto the label. You don't have to worry about decimal points because the values that we're working with are integers 
integers are only going to allow you to, are only going to allow whole numbers, so it's going to round up for you automatically. Now the update percentage procedure, you're going to have to modify that to your preference because I'm not entirely sure what you'll be do using the percentage for, but once you know how you're going to be getting your percentage, you know, feel free to use this code right here. It's um, again, just show you one more time in action, hitting F5, show percent. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'll have this code pasted into the description. If it doesn't fit into the description, I'll go on and post it as a comment. Thank you all for watching.